What's going on everybody? So today in this video, what we're going to be going through is we're going to be building a Airtable webhook trigger to anywhere. Specifically, I'm going to be using a make webhook, but that does not matter. You can use any webhook you'd like. Basically what this is going to do is we're going to write a, actually it's like a templated script. You just pick your trigger. So when this happens in Airtable, then trigger this webhook and have it trigger. So that's what we're going to be doing. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. We help businesses set up these kind of systems all the time. I'm specifically going to be showing you this in my CRM. Uh, this is something I'm building for the channel. There's a whole series on it. But if you're interested in having any of these kind of systems built for you and not have to do it alone anymore, you can just book a call in the description. There's a link. You can go to my page. You can book a call with someone, me or someone on my team. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the Airtable system and we're going to show you how to do this. So what we have here, <clears throat> what I'm going to be using this for is an onboarding automation, but you can choose whatever you would want to do with this. Uh, so for me, it's going to be when a prospect goes to the, where it says closed one, I'm going to have that trigger an automation. Now I'm going to add some filters so that it doesn't trigger this multiple times. If for example, a client went to closed one multiple times, I don't want it to just happen all the time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a feedback loop come in here. I'm going to have it update the record with a checkbox to say onboarding complete. Did not mean to make that all caps, but that's fine. So basically what I'm going to say is when I mark somebody as closed one, I want to trigger this webhook and then I want to update the record as this so that it doesn't re-trigger my automation if I ever move someone back to closed one. So let's go into our automations and we're going to create a new automation in Airtable. So this automation is going to be onboarding, onboarding, trigger make webhook. I didn't spell many words right there. That's fine. We'll leave it. So this is going to say winner record matches conditions in the companies table. It's going to, I got to change it. No, I'm lost in here. Okay. So it's going to be winner record matches conditions. Now I like using this rather than using winner record enters of you because we don't need to say winner record enters of you in this scenario. We just need to say some very simple conditions. There's no nested logic in this. So I'm going to say when there's the deal stage closed one and when onboarding complete is not checked yet, I'm going to say, choose this record, test this out. Okay. So now we have our test record and we can say now run a script. One thing to note is you will need to be on the pro plan at a minimum to run a script and an automation. Now in the description of this video, I'm going to include this script. Uh, this is all the script looks like, and you can include more or less things in here if you want. I got this from a guy named Troy Tessalone. I believe that is how you spell, how you pronounce his name. I apologize if it's not, he has an awesome blog about how to use the script, but this is what it looks like. You need to add one input variable right here that I'm going to call a record ID. And I'm going to include in this the record ID from the trigger record. Okay. So that's that. Now the key piece here is to pull the webhook URL. Um, and also one thing to note is I'm lazy and I do not include a bunch of parameters in here or input configs to pass every single field in here. Typically how I run these scripts is I'll run this just passing in the record ID and then my first step in whatever automation tool like make or Zapier is I update the record, which then pulls every single field that's filled in. Um, it usually just saves me time in this step and I don't have to worry about anything changing. All right. So now let's go get a webhook URL. So let me pull over make. We're going to go to scenarios. Ultimately you just need this webhook URL added. So let's just go add one. We will search for webhooks and we will trigger this based on a custom webhook. I'm going to add a new one and this is going to be 
YouTube onboarding. So now I'm going to copy this to a clipboard right here. Go back to my Airtable. And now you want to take that URL you just pasted and you want to take this right here and paste over it. Okay, so now I'm going to click test. I'm going to run back to make and I can see I click run once. Oh, did I not save something? Run once, run twice, run three times. Nope, still nothing. Okay, let me go back to Airtable because it's still not in there and run this test again. Sweet. Okay, so now we have our custom webhook. It fired successfully. Now let's go back to Airtable and make sure this never fires again on that record. So my last step in here is going to be update the record. I'm going to have it update the companies table using the record ID from the trigger. So if you click the little blue plus, you can pull information from the trigger record. You can select fields. So I want it to update the onboarding complete to be checked. Sweet. So now let's test this on a new one without editing anything in there. So I want to test it on school. So I want to say closed one is that. It should go fire the webhook and then update this as onboarding complete. Sweet. And let's see what the record ID, so it ends in TCY. Let's see if we can get back here fast enough. Sweet, so TCY. That worked. And again, usually what I do is I add the first action in here to be update the record and then we pull all the information. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want to see me continue this automation, I'm going to build a whole onboarding automation using this webhook. I like it because it fires instantly, but just go check out this video here in the end screen if you want to see the continued version of this and building out the whole uh, custom webhook onboarding automation for uh, Airtable CRM. Thank you. I'll see you in the video right here in the end screen.